What if the U.S. was attacked right now? It could happen any minute. Are you prepared for the chaos that would follow? Let's cut to the chase. You're probably not. Stock up on these seven essential grocery items now, or you'll be the one left scrambling when it all goes down. Stop assuming you've got time. The news has gotten even worse. NATO's mission in Ukraine is escalating, with new military bases in Poland, Slovakia, and Romania. Russia's forces are mobilizing near these borders, putting us at the brink of a NATO-Russia war. One wrong move could trigger NATO's Article 5, and that war could hit American soil faster than you think. Are you even remotely prepared for what's coming? Russia now calls the U.S. its top enemy, and cyber attacks are hitting our critical infrastructure. Just days ago, energy grids in the Midwest were hit, causing outages. Still think we're safe? At home, inflation's out of control. Food and fuel prices are breaking records, pushing families to the edge. Rent's skyrocketing. Homelessness is rising and crime in cities like Chicago and New York is out of hand. How safe do you really feel in your own neighborhood? Natural disasters are slamming the country too. Wildfires, deadly heat waves, droughts, it's all threatening our food supply. What will you do when grocery shelves start to empty? In these chaotic times, preparation is key. Now, let's go over seven grocery products you need to stockpile for what's coming. Wake up or get left behind. Number one, rice. This is the one food that will vanish from shelves first when chaos hits. Rice is an absolute staple worldwide, and there's a good reason for that. It's cheap, versatile, and provides a serious bang for your buck in terms of calories and shelf life. Mark my words, when things go south, rice will be the first thing people grab. And once it's gone, good luck getting your hands on it. Why is rice so crucial? Well, for starters, white rice, when stored properly, can last up to 30 years. Yes, 30 years! In times of crisis, having a reliable source of carbohydrates is key. And rice delivers that in spades. It's calorie dense meaning it will keep you and your family going for longer stretches of time compared to other foods. A single cup of rice contains about 200 calories and provides you with the energy to keep pushing forward when other food sources have disappeared. Not only that, rice is extremely versatile. You can combine it with almost anything, beans, canned meat, freeze-dried vegetables, and create a filling, satisfying meal. It doesn't require fancy ingredients, just water and heat. Imagine being in the middle of a crisis and you've got a stockpile of rice that's easy to cook and will keep you going for weeks or even months. This is the kind of preparation that will separate those who survive from those who don't. Here's a tip. Don't just go for any rice. Look for brands like Lundberg Organic Long Grain White Rice or even Basic Jasmine Rice if you want something with a bit more flavor. These options are not only long-lasting, but also pack a decent amount of vitamins and minerals like magnesium, manganese, and selenium, nutrients your body will desperately need when fresh food becomes a luxury. Number two, peanut butter. Let me be blunt. Peanut butter will be one of the first things to disappear in a crisis, and you'll be kicking yourself if you didn't hoard it beforehand. It's the ultimate survival food, packed with healthy fats, protein, and calories that can sustain you when food supplies are tight. Peanut butter is a powerhouse. A single two tablespoon serving has around 190 calories, eight grams of protein, and 16 grams of fat. That's an enormous amount of energy in just a small amount of food. When you're low on supplies and need to stretch your food as far as possible, peanut butter will be your best friend. Spread it on crackers, mix it into oatmeal, or just eat it straight out of the jar. No cooking necessary, which is a huge advantage when you're conserving resources. Not only is peanut butter calorie dense, but it also has a long shelf life. Unopened jars can last up to two years, and even once opened, it stays good for months. That's crucial in an emergency when refrigeration and fresh food are no longer options. Go for brands like Skippy or Jif Natural. They're reliable and don't have unnecessary additives that could spoil faster. Here's the thing. 
Peanut butter is also a fantastic source of nutrients your body needs to stay strong. It contains vitamin E, an antioxidant that helps protect your cells, magnesium, which is vital for muscle function, and niacin for maintaining a healthy digestive system. When fresh fruit, vegetables, and meat are hard to come by, these nutrients will be essential for keeping your body in fighting shape. In times of crisis, easy-to-eat, non-perishable foods are gold. Peanut butter is compact, nutrient-rich, and can keep you going when nothing else is available. Make no mistake, when the chaos begins, peanut butter will be one of the first things to disappear from store shelves. If you don't stock up on it now, you'll regret it later. Number 3. Dried Beans Alright, listen up, because this is serious. Dried beans are a must-have for your stockpile, and I can't stress this enough. You're screwed without them. When disaster strikes, people are going to clear out the beans faster than you can blink, and you'll be left with empty shelves and an empty stomach. Trust me, you need to act now before it's too late. Dried beans are an absolute powerhouse. We're talking about a food that's loaded with protein, fiber, and complex carbs, all of which will keep you full and energized when the world goes to hell. A single cup of cooked beans contains around 15 grams of protein and 45 grams of carbs. That's serious fuel for your body. And in a survival scenario, you need all the energy you can get. Whether it's black beans, pinto beans, or lentils, stock up on whatever you can find because these will vanish fast when people realize how crucial they are. Let's talk shelf life. Dried beans, when stored properly, can last 10 years or more. That's a decade of reliable, nutrient-dense food sitting in your pantry, waiting for the moment you need it. And don't forget, they're incredibly versatile. You can make soups, stews, salads, or even eat them plain if you have to. Dried beans will be your go-to in a crisis because they are easy to store, easy to cook, just soak and boil, and they stretch for miles. You can feed an entire family for pennies per meal, and that's going to matter when you can't afford or find anything else. Let me make it clear. If you don't stock up on dried beans now, you're setting yourself up to fail. The moment disaster hits, those shelves are going to be empty, and you'll be the one scrambling for crumbs. Don't be that person. Prepare now. Number four, salt. You're probably thinking, salt? Really? Yes, salt. And if you're not hoarding it, you're making a massive mistake. In a crisis, salt is going to become worth its weight in gold. We're talking about one of the most essential survival items that everyone underestimates. If you think you can do without it, you're fooling yourself and you'll regret it when it's too late. Salt isn't just about flavor, it's about preservation. When refrigeration is out the window and fresh food is no longer an option, salt becomes vital for preserving meat and other perishable items. Salt can keep food from spoiling for extended periods, which will be a lifesaver when supply chains collapse and food availability becomes scarce. In ancient times, salt was used to preserve entire stocks of meat, fish, and vegetables. Don't think for a second that's not going to matter when chaos unfolds. And let's talk about your body. Salt contains sodium, an essential electrolyte that your body needs to function properly. It helps regulate blood pressure, balance fluids, and supports nerve and muscle function. When you're sweating from stress or physical exertion in a crisis, you're going to need salt to stay hydrated and avoid serious health issues like electrolyte imbalances. If you think you can survive on beans and rice without salt, you're going to find out the hard way how wrong you are. Here's the thing. Iodized salt also provides iodine, a crucial nutrient for your thyroid, which controls metabolism. In a world where your diet might be limited and nutrition hard to come by, keeping your thyroid in check could be the difference between staying healthy and falling apart. Brands like Morton Iodized Salt are dirt cheap right now. But trust me, they won't stay on the shelves once the panic buying starts. Number 5. Flour. Let me be crystal clear, folks. Flour is an absolute staple in American households, 
And if you're not hoarding it right now, you're basically guaranteeing your own downfall when the chaos hits. Think about it. Flour is the foundation of so many essential foods. Bread, pasta, pancakes, tortillas. The minute supply chains break down, you can kiss all those goodbye unless you've stockpiled properly. Here's the deal. Without flour, you won't be able to make basic, filling foods that will keep you and your family alive. A five-pound bag of all-purpose flour can give you thousands of calories. And in a crisis, those calories are your lifeline. You'll need carbs to keep your energy up, and flour is one of the most efficient and versatile sources you can have. You think you're just going to pop down to the store and buy bread when disaster strikes? Wrong. There will be no bread. There will be no pasta. The only people who will be eating are the ones who prepared. Let's talk shelf life. Properly stored flour in an airtight container can last years, especially if you freeze it. And if you're smart, you'll stock up on whole wheat flour too, which is richer in nutrients like fiber and B vitamins, critical for staying healthy when fresh food is no longer available. But be warned, whole wheat doesn't last as long as all purpose. So rotate your stockpile. If you don't have flour, you won't have bread. And without bread, your stockpile will fall apart fast. Start buying King Arthur or gold medal flour in bulk now because when the crisis hits, these will be the first items to vanish and you'll be left with nothing. Don't wait until it's too late. Get your hands on it while you still can. Number 6. Pasta. Are you sitting there thinking pasta isn't that important? You're dead wrong. Pasta is an American staple, and it's going to be the first thing people grab off the shelves the second things go south. If you don't stock up on pasta right now, you're setting yourself up for disaster. Don't be that person who waits and ends up scavenging for the last box of spaghetti when the panic hits. Pasta is one of the most efficient shelf-stable foods you can stockpile. A single pound of pasta can provide around 1,600 calories, which is a huge deal when you're in survival mode and need every calorie to keep going. It's cheap, easy to cook, and stores for years if kept in a cool, dry place. You'll be able to feed yourself and your family with a filling, satisfying meal that takes barely any effort to prepare. Just boil some water and you've got a meal that will keep you alive for another day. Here's a reality check. Barilla or DiCecco pasta is available everywhere right now. But when people realize that fresh food is gone, they're going to wipe those shelves clean in hours, maybe minutes. And if you think you can just walk into a store and grab a box when things go south, you're dreaming. Pasta is lightweight, non-perishable, and calorie-dense, which means it'll be gone in a flash when panic sets in. And don't forget, pasta is versatile. You can eat it with canned sauces, mix it with whatever protein you've got, or even just toss it with some olive oil and salt. It's an easy, quick meal that can help stretch your other stockpiled foods. But here's the bottom line. Without pasta, your food options are going to be seriously limited. If you don't stock up now, you'll be left fighting over crumbs while others are sitting comfortably with their month's worth of food. So, get smart and get moving. You need to buy pasta in bulk today. Number seven, canned soup. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. Canned soup is the last thing standing between you and utter desperation when the system collapses. And if you don't stockpile it right now, you're setting yourself up for absolute failure. You think you can ride out a crisis on fresh food? Wake up. When the shelves are empty and the power is out, Canned soup will be the only hot meal you can count on to keep you alive. And the rest of the unprepared masses will be kicking themselves for not thinking ahead. Here's the deal. Canned soup is loaded with protein, vegetables, and carbohydrates, all in one easy-to-store can. Brands like Campbell's Chunky, Progresso, and Amy's Organic can last years on the shelf. Years, folks. When fresh food is gone and you're stuck in the middle of chaos, you're going to wish you had a pantry full of these. You don't need refrigeration. You don't need to worry about spoilage. You just pop the can open, heat it if you can, and eat. That simplicity could be the difference between staying fed and going hungry. Let me make this very clear. When the trucks stop delivering food and people start panicking, canned soup will disappear first. 
You're not going to stroll into the grocery store and grab a couple of cans when the shelves are already bare. And don't even think about surviving off that box of ramen you bought five years ago. It won't cut it. If you're not hoarding hearty, nutrient-dense soups like chicken noodle, beef stew, or vegetable soup right now, you're already behind. Canned soup is the ultimate survival food. It's versatile, it's filling, and it can provide you with essential vitamins and minerals that you're going to desperately need when your other food sources dry up. One can of Progresso Chicken Noodle has 20 grams of protein. That's the kind of nutrition that keeps you from wasting away. In a crisis, liquid-based foods like soup also keep you hydrated when water becomes scarce, giving you that extra edge to make it through the day. If you're sitting there thinking, oh, I'll just wait until things get bad to buy some canned soup, let me be clear, you won't get any. The moment things start falling apart, people are going to strip the shelves clean and you'll be left with nothing but an empty cart and a lot of regret. Don't be that person. Stock up now. Buy it in bulk. Make sure you have enough to last you months, not weeks. Because once it's gone, it's gone. Here's the harsh reality. The world is unraveling, and no one's going to come save you. The government? They're barely holding it together. Your neighbors? They'll be scrambling for the same dwindling resources when the chaos hits. If you're still sitting there thinking things will magically fix themselves, you're delusional. It's on you to protect your family, and if you're not ready for what's coming, you're going to pay the price. You've seen the warnings, you've heard the facts. Now, what are you going to do about it? Get your act together before it's too late or face the consequences head on. The choice is yours.